Hi guys, we're here today with our stackable diamond miner. You can see this insert has eight different shelves. It comes standard with these crystallizing dishes. There are 100 millimeters around, 100 uh, milliliter diameter. They just fit right onto the shelf. It comes with these slick pads to keep it from moving. As you can see when I tilt it, it doesn't want to go anywhere. So you can also fit some uh, mason jars on if you'd like. These are four ounce wide mouth mason jars fit two per shelf if you're trying to do different mixtures or testing with different strains. So I'm going to lower this shelving unit into the spool. Alright, after it's in there, we have our top cap to put on top. It comes standard with a nitrogen import right here with the jig fitting. There's a side glass in the middle, a pressure gauge, and then a pressure relief. This pressure leaves adjustable, just by turning this. You can set it prior to entering your material as you'll have to do a little bit of uh, plug and play with it, different uh, pressures with nitrogen. I was gonna put this gasket on here, put the cap right on top. And even though we're not using much pressure, a lot of people tend to use under 10 PSI even. We're still gonna use these high pressure clamps. The system is rated for 100 PSI. So you can see right here, there's the outlet for uh, your jacket. There's an inlet at the bottom, and then you can run your liquid through the outside to keep the whole vessel at a certain temperature throughout the duration of your diamond mining. All right, so you can see in the sight glass here, you can see your top container. Any diamonds that start to form, you'll be able to watch them through the sight glass. Now I'm gonna show you how to take out this rack. Just take off the top, and it comes right out. So while the diamonds are forming, it's recommended not to move the machine at all. So just set it, leave it, and then come back in a little while, maybe even two weeks or so, and you'll have some formation. Thanks for watching.